I am at Biostock Investomeding in Stockholm and with me I have Six Zones acting CEO Carl Magnus Hagerkorp. Welcome. Thank you. Especially How would you again. briefly present Saxon? Yeah, so uh, Saxon is developing uh, transformative uh, therapies in autoimmune diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis and multiple sclerosis, uh, which means that we're one of not too many companies that are currently developing treatments in these chronic debilitating diseases. So, um, you know, the current market for drugs in rheumatoid arthritis is uh, huge and um, valued at around 20 six billion US dollars uh, with some of the top selling drugs uh, worldwide. So it's a very interesting space to be in. Uh, and Saxon has actually been identified as uh, one of 14 uh, key development companies globally in this therapy space. And uh, when, when looking at, at Saxon's candidate Rebecca's mod, uh, we are actually addressing one of the major uh, current unmet medical needs for this indication, which is uh, that large groups of patients do not respond to the, ben to the current uh, treatments. Uh, and um, which is why we think that uh, Cyxone's um, offering here with Rebexamod is very, very interesting and could be an, a solution for the a pressing problem. And you're soon entering a clinical phase 2b study with Trabeximod. Uh, how big is the potential in RA? Yeah, so, um, you know, Rebexamod has uh, uh, already been demonstrated uh, to have uh, durable disease modifying effects in, in a phase 2b or phase 2a study. Uh, and um, what's interesting with this. Um, study was that it was conducted on patients which could, which could be um, seen as difficult to treat. So they had very severe disease. Now we're moving now into a setting where uh, patients are better treated and uh, we can come in at an earlier stage. And I think based on the mode of action of Rebexamod, I think we have a good opportunity to actually change the disease course for these uh, patients. And what is going on in your second program with the T20K uh, in MS? So, uh, yeah, so T20K is also an interesting molecule, um, which currently is in preclinical um, research activities and also being developed uh, uh, in, in, in the non-clinical setting, uh, especially looking at um, manufacturing. So before we enter into uh, fa clinical phase one studies, we need to make sure that and secure that we have a manufacturing process for T20K. That's where we are right now. And if we meet a year from now, what would you hope to have achieved by then? Yeah, as... Um, <laughs> Uh, it's a very interesting question, you know, we live in uncertain times uh, and um, uh, it is therefore difficult to sort of predict the, the, the future. However, uh, we have the starting of the Phase 2B program uh, coming up and we, in a year's time, would be well into this study and hope that we can still maintain uh, the timelines for that study. It will be interesting to follow and thank you for joining us today. Yeah, thanks a lot.